welcome back to my youtube channel my name is blessing to my new subscribers you're welcome once again to my returning subscribers thank you for keeping up with this channel so today we have some interesting updates uh, from the fashion retail industry here in Russia um, as we all already know uh, there has been sanctions in Russia and it has affected the market and um, there have been closure of several renowned brands. Let's dive into the details. Uh, let us start with the Swedish H&M company uh, group. So their group of company includes the H&M itself, uh, the Arcade and Weekday. So these stores have completely closed their activities in Russian retail, which is, I don't know. But you could still find uh, some of these brands. I don't know if the companies are doing their final sales or it's people, individuals that bought the, the, the clothes and are selling it in online stores like uh, Ozone um, and White Berries. Uh, same goes for giant uh, companies like Hemis, uh, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Balenciaga, Chanel, Fendi, uh, what's this one again? Burberry, Calvin Klein, Klein, Victoria's Secrets, Golden Goose, Gap, Acne Studio, like all the bigger uh, brands, they all disappeared as well in, in Russia. So your only option now is to ask someone to buy for you or when Russians or foreigners here travel to these com countries, um, European countries, countries that own these brands, they buy from there. You can ask a friend to buy for you when they visit. So that's a way you can get. Although I think some Russians also do it as business, like those that travel often, they, you know, get people um, traveling, then you give them money and they buy for you as well. Now, uh, the stores of the Spanish group, Inditex, uh, which this Inditex uh, store includes the brands like um, Zara and Bershka. Bershka. Um, these ones are only partially gone, um, while there are other stores like the Oisho and Zara Home. And uh, what Massimo Massimo Dotti Dotti? <laughs> it's Italian. Um, forgive me if I mispronounce. Um, uh, these ones will definitely not resume work. Um, but in this spring of 2023, Zara reopened as Mag Mag M A A G, and Bershka as Yekru Yekru. So yeah, they are basically the same thing, just changed names. So if you see these stores and you want Zara, just go into Mag. If you want Bershka, go into Yekru. Problem solved. On the other hand, the brands of the Polish LPP group, such as Reserved, Mojito, Sensei, Crop and House, have remained in the Russian market, yes some good news they didn't go anywhere so these stores were brought by the were bought by the Chinese retailer FSC retail and what they did now is they have given new abbreviated names to this store so like reserved is now re like R E that's the name of the store mojito is now called M store uh, sensei is now sin and the uh, house is now hes a X C so like has <laughs> Levi's has also undergone a name change and it's now known as uh, J J N S capital J N S. So if you want to buy Levi's, if you see J N S, go in there. It's the same. Um, the company also has plans to develop a network of multi-brand stores that will include uh, other popular brands like Lacoste, Lacoste, Vans, Lee, Wrangler, and uh, many more. 
Uh, the brand uh, Mangos, uh, as a franchise company, has decided to keep several offline stores open. So although you can't buy like physical stores, going to malls or stores like that, you can order from their online stores. And uh, also, as I said, this uh, online shopping places like Ozone and White Berries, you can also find it there. However, the collections available may be limited and the range may not be as extensive as before. This is because I don't know if they are really still here in Russia or they are trying to sell off the things they have. I, I don't, I'm not aware, but right now this is the situation here. Uh, now for Reebok fans, don't be scared. Um, they are not exactly gone. Uh, they are just under a different name. You can now find Reebok products at Sneaker Box. So make sure to check it out if you are a fan of the brand. In another exciting uh, news, um, Nike, Adidas and Puma have announced their readiness in opening a new store called Move. That name is really funny to me. <laughs> Move. But yeah. Uh, in this small tea brand store, it brings together uh, all these renowned sportswear brands under one roof. Uh, that is really good in my own opinion because it now creates a fantastic shopping experience for sports enthusiasts. You don't need to go to uh, Nike differently or Puma. Or everything is in now in one this in this one store move, and you can check whatever you like, compare and buy. Uh, and this wraps up uh, the effect of the sanctions on the fashion retail industry in Russia. Comment in the comment section below if there is any other things you feel like has been affected by the sanction or anything you would like to know that was the sanctions, the effect of the sanctions in Russia. If you would like, please write in the comment section and I'll be sure to cover it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get notified anytime we post on this channel and give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way, it helps me to improve uh, this channel and move it forward. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.